Hello there Dormy, welcome back to another video. And this really wasn't a video I was expecting to make in the last couple of days. It's a bit of a change of plan because this is a news roundup show, as you can tell by the title, Aberdeen have signed two new players. But I was meant to be putting out today, I was going to put out the Around the Season 2018-19 SPFL review. But you're going to have to be getting that tomorrow instead because this is more important right now that we've made two new signings. So yeah, I'm just going to get into the video right now. So as I said, I wasn't really planning on making this video because there's been like no Aberdeen news since the season's finished. There's been a few players linked, obviously Ash Taylor, Curtis Main, but there's not really been any proper news. So yeah, um, I wasn't gonna really going to make this video, but... Um, uh, the news came through today that Aberdeen had signed Ryan Hedges, so I I wasn't hundred percent sure I was gonna make a video on it, but then it broke about an hour later that we signed Ash Taylor as well. So I'm just a hundred percent sure that I had to make the video. So um yeah, I'm gonna just go on about. So there's been no signings really since the last of the season, and they just come along two at once. It's like buses, you know, you don't get any for ages, and they're just the two come along at once. So Ryan Hedges was our first signing from Barnsley. He's a right winger, so he could fit into our team. Probably be right mid in our team. So this could maybe this could maybe be the replacement for GMS if he's going to move on, or McGinn could be struggling for his place in the team because I think McLennan will be nailed on starter next year, and I think Ryan Hedges. I've I've never actually seen him play before, so I, I don't know what he's like. I've been told that he's a very good player, so hopefully he could be playing right mid for us and McLennan left mid. I think that would be a pretty pacey attack because Ryan Hedges is really quick, as of what I've been told. So, yeah, this could be the end of GMS and McGinn's career. Well, not career, just GMS probably moving on. And McGinn, I think he's he passed it, McGinn, to be honest. So... Yeah, that's the first news that Ryan Hedges has signed. So the, I can't really speak too much on this because I've never actually seen him play before. So I don't know what he's like. I've been I've been told that he's a good player, but I'm not actually sure. So I'm not really too sure what I can say on that one. And the other one which I can't speak about is Ash Taylor because he's obviously played for Aberdeen before. So he have been there for a few years. If Scott McKenna stays on next season, then I'm assuming McKenna will be the captain or Lewis and um, Ash Taylor will probably partner him in centre-back. And that could be a, a good partnership with McKenna and Taylor because obviously when Taylor was at Aberdeen before, his partner was Mark Reynolds, who's obviously at Dundee United now. So... um. Yeah, this could be a hint that McKenna's leaving. It's because we've got a replacement in for him. So if McKenna leaves, it could be Taylor Considine, it could be Con Taylor Devlin, it could be Devlin Considine. We just don't know. But hopefully we do sign a few more players in that position so we can really solidate the team and see if... and just really try and build on it for from, from McInnes' summer rebuild. So, um, Ashtil is still quite young, he's 28 years old, so he's just coming into his prime now, and he's scored, you know, I know he's a defender, but he scored lots of important goals for us, mostly headers from corners and free kicks, so, um, yeah, he's he was a vital player for us in um, that season, and I remember his last game in the Scottish Cup final where we lost 2-1 to Celtic, it was in the last minute where I think it was a free kick, we were 2-1 down at the time, and it was about the last kick of the ball, I think McGinn might have lumped it into the box. And Ash Taylor was up there. He won the header, and Adam Rooney was about was about this much away from it from getting a foot on it and putting the ball into the back of the net. So you know that that's how important Ash Taylor is. And the thing is, he's taller than McKenna, I think. So if we're losing our goal, we can always stick him up front and just try and lump the ball up because we know McInnes loves to do that with Cosgrove and Wilson already this season, as it's been proven. But, yeah, it's good signings of Ryan Hedges and Ash Taylor, and hopefully they can push on for us next season, and hopefully we'll be getting a good few more signings that we can get excited about. So there's really no more Aberdeen news. That's really why I haven't been doing any news roundup shows or anything. It's just kind of been season reaction videos, which you will be getting more of. This was just a kind of... I wasn't planning on making this video, as I said, because I didn't think we'd be signing in anyone right now. So, yeah, as I've said, hopefully there's more signings to come. So press the like button down below if you've enjoyed this video. Um, let me know down in the comments if, you've, if, you've, if you're a Barnsley fan and you're watching this. If you've, ever seen, or if you've just ever seen Ryan Hedges play, because I'm really not too sure what to think of him right now. 
So, yeah, as I've said, let me know down in the comments if you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new to Albany Fan TV. And the video reaction to around the season review will probably be going up tomorrow when you're watching this. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Goodbye.